My name is Daniel. I'm 18 years old. And almost a year ago, God saved me. I stand here. I want to proclaim the gospel in my own testimony and just how God did that work in me that you too may come to faith in Him. Most of all, I want to, sh to tell you that there's no level of sin and there's, there's no amount of wickedness that keeps a man from God, but it's his own pride not to come. And for a long time, I was prideful enough to keep my sin in the dark. I, my dark deeds were not exposed to the light because they would expose them for what they were. And if that was true, God would have judged me. They were true. And He would have judged me. But you need to know that now I serve a living Savior. He's alive in me. And He's done a work. Please hear this testimony I have to tell to you that you may come to saving faith. God shows His love for us and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And on April 23rd, 1991, I began my war with God. It's the day I was born. At age five or six, though God created me to mature and to and to be holy and pure before Him. At age five or six, Satan said, your sexuality begins. And I said, yeah, you're right. And through elementary and throughout middle school, Satan said, this perversion continues. And I agreed with him. And high school came. And I stopped. I stopped living my secret sexual lust. These actions that no one knew about except God. And the only reason it ended was a fear of man. Because I didn't want to stop doing it. I loved it. I loved I loved what I loved what killed my conscience. And if it if it could have been seen, it would have been a scarred brutally beaten body, almost to death. That's what my conscience was like then. And the only reason I stopped was because I was growing up and I knew what people would think if I continued this way and they found out. How I felt about people of my own gender and even my own flesh and blood and the things I did in the dark. The things that God's losses are perverse. He absolutely hates.
No. I truly didn't stop doing it because it was an abomination to God. I truly stopped because I cared more about what people thought than anything in the world. Even more than my lust. That's how much I cared what people thought about me. Not because I hated sin. I love sin. But in the midst of this, me growing up this way, I began to isolate myself. Fear and shame became my outer shell. And I began to collect in the midst of all of it all types of materialistic idolatries. But never truly worshipping or considering the God who created me. And for that, I'm ashamed. I'm so ashamed. With everyone applauding my good grades, I began the greatest abomination of all. In the midst of what I knew I was and had done and was still doing in my mind, though I physically stopped it, I actually thought I was better than most everyone else. And I looked to people's approval of, of my behavior externally and my own conduct in school and began to think of myself as good. But if I had faced God in those days, if we, He would have rendered my life, and if we would have brought me right before Him, the angels would have been the ones applauding, and they would have been applauding my damnation. And my teenage churchianity only multiplied what I can imagine God felt toward me. A fierce wrath and wanting to pour out vengeance. Because I treated myself then that point in my life is redeemed and it was under a false gospel but God being the merciful savior that he was and he still is showed me the consuming fire that He is and that blinding light He brought me face to face with Christ 